Hey guys, this is Derek from Walker and Wood. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a Yeti cooler stand for a Yeti Tundra 45. Now this build is going to be a super cool one, a special one for me because this is for my father-in-law for Father's Day. Um, his wife is getting him a new cooler and so we're going to build this stand to put out on their new porch. So stay tuned and see what you think. I started by measuring my legs to 40 inches and I cut those on the miter saw. This gave me eight legs in total. Once I had those, then I ripped them down on the table saw. I wanted to get off the round edges on this 2x4. Once I'd done that, I took it over to the Craig jig and lined these all up with pocket holes. Once I did that, then I applied a generous amount of glue and glued them together and attached them with pocket screws. This gave an L-shaped look to each leg. I put the pocket screws here because they were going to be hidden with that L-shaped look. I then cut four leg supports, two for the top, two for the bottom, and they will vary in size depending on what size your cooler is. I attach these using pocket screws. I applied some glue and then I screwed these together using pocket screws. Then I went over to the chop saw again and I cut the side support frames. Again, these will depend on size uh, with the width of your cooler. I test these using profit screws. Sorry guys, my camera just, I don't know what happened, but messed up. But anyway, I had to go ahead here. But what I did was I trimmed out uh, the top of this, I used one by sixes actually, but ripped them down to one by four and made them flush with the edges. And then these here, one by three, ripped down by, from the one by six. And that way we've got a nice platform uh, for the cooler. Whenever the cooler sits in here, the lip is going to come out on the edge and it's going to rest on top of that. I also added in some support here, so whenever the cooler rests on this, the whole weight will be supported by this. And so I measured up from the ground um, X amount of distance of the, the depth of the cooler. For instance, this is the Yeti Tundra 45. And so the depth from the lip to the base is where I put this supporting frame. Um, and this is one sturdy piece already. I then cut down the side panels uh, to size. They originally were one by sixes. I ripped them down uh, to one by fours. And then I was going to router a chamfer around each of these edges just to give a depth and a, a cool look to these panel boards. Then I applied a generous amount of glue to the top and bottom sides, attached it to the side of the stand and then put it in place with a brad nailer. then attached the bottom support legs that I already cut previously to the bottom using pocket screws. I then ripped down some more 1x4s and attached these onto the bottom frames to give more storage to this unit. I applied a generous amount of glue again and brad nailed these in place. I then put a chamfer around the whole top of the stand. I thought that this would give a nice clean look and kind of tie in what I've been doing with the side panels. Then covered up all of the nail holes with some wood putty before sanding it down to 220. Then brought out the paint sprayer to give the stand two generous coats of white. adding the final touches and I put on this rustic bottle opener. Um, I thought this was a really classy kind of final touch to this piece. And here we are. The Yeti cooler stand is in its new home. 
Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know if you've got any questions. I would really, really appreciate it if you'd like this video, share, subscribe. But again, thanks so much. See you next time.